What's up everybody, welcome back to Athlete Life. If you are new to the channel, my name is Aaron Brown, professional pitcher with the Philadelphia Phillies organization. Today is a special day because we have our guest here, Angel Rodriguez. Angel, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's it's nice to it's nice to have you on the channel. I'm I'm super excited about this episode. Angel and I go back quite a ways, back to the old high school days where we first met, started playing baseball together, and been really great buds ever since. So I'm excited to talk to you today about the importance of hard work. Uh, Angel here knows a little something about hard work. He's been through uh, quite a few different things in his life and uh, I'm excited that we're going to get to hear from him about those things and um, talk about the importance of hard work. Should you work harder? Should you work smarter? Should you do both? I mean the, these are all really good questions so we're going to discuss this topic throughout this video and uh, we hope you guys enjoy. Guys, it is an absolutely gorgeous day out today. We are driving on to Panga Canyon right now, um, headed toward PCH, and it is, what, 90 degrees outside, a little toasty, but the sun toasty. is shining, it's gorgeous weather. Uh, we are in one of my favorite cars of all time, his dream car that he just bought last year, a Maserati Gran Turismo. Yes. Uh, quite possibly one of the best exhaust notes ever on a vehicle. <laughs> It's one of my personal favorites. You might think otherwise and maybe have some other favorites, but that's okay. Uh, what do you think of this car? I absolutely love this car. Uh, not only for what it is, but to me it's for whatever it represents. And uh, I feel like, I like that. that's one of the biggest reasons why I really wanted this car. And I'm happy I really got it. I really, really am. Okay, first question for you, Angel. What does hard work mean to you, personally? It's... In essence, to me, the driving force of whatever I am trying to apply myself to. Um, obviously, growing up, I wasn't fortunate enough to have a lot of things, uh, so I knew the one thing that could get me what I wanted was hard work. Not speaking materialistic, just uh, an essence of reaching new levels, new heights uh, in my career. Absolutely. No, I love that. I, I completely agree. My, my parents gave us gave us everything we, we absolutely needed and they gave us the tools and the ability to pursue our dreams and our, our passions and that was uh, to me just awesome to have that upbringing and, and just the, the ability to go out and, and, and live life and figure out the things that I really enjoy and what I, what I really truly uh, love to do. Yeah. And uh, I mean one of those things is meeting people like you who have that same mindset. And uh, I think that is something so important, especially in the game of baseball, meeting, meeting teammates like that and friends like that that can help you understand the importance of hard work and, and why it is that we work so hard to achieve the things we want to achieve. Just being your friend for over 10 years now, I've, I've seen that in you. I've seen that work ethic and it's just something so awesome to watch because I, I saw you when you first transferred to Chatsworth High School and you were, you were the scrawny little transfer and nobody knew who you were, but you came out, you pumped strikes, you sat. 88 to 90 in, in high school and just you did your job and you were a great teammate and you worked extremely hard and I know personally you pushed me you pushed me to be the best player I could be and you you pushed me to work harder than everybody else because I saw how hard you worked day in and day out and that was just it, it, it drove me to to become better and to work harder every single day. Speaking about uh, sophomore year when I transferred over I was absolutely terrified <laughs> coming from that is such privileged high school uh, previous to Chatsworth. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I, was, I was intimidated. I was extremely intimidated going to Powerhouse. Loved it. And I moved nearby, which gave me the ability to make that transfer. Um, but getting to, once I got to the team and I started connecting with you guys and becoming you know, a part of the team, you were the one person that I wanted to be every single time. But I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't because there was there's something in you that I'm like if I can't beat you I need to I need to you need to be in my life because well, you will always and have always pushed me and and to get better uh in, in anything that I, I apply myself to well that just goes to show that hard work pays off not only for yourself but for other people when you put it out there and you display an effort level that is unmatched on a high school level, college level, whatever it may be, 
other people are always watching how you go about your business. Right. And first of all, I appreciate you saying that. That is just awesome to hear. I'm glad I was able to do that for you. Uh, every day you show up to the field, people are always watching you. Why? Because you're a professional athlete. Right. And the importance of showing up and going about your business the right way, you really can't say enough about it because someone is going to watch you and they are going to want to get better because of it. Absolutely. Just like you said, when you first met me and you watched me in high school, you know, whatever, whatever you felt in that time, I didn't know I was having that impact on you. Yeah. All I knew was I wanted to make a D1 roster that's when and play pro ball in the future. And so I knew I had to work extremely hard and work harder than everybody else. And that's just the simple truth is you have to work harder than everybody else if you that's want it. to be that good. All right, Angel, my next question for you, how has hard work in your personal life shaped you as a person, as a man? When I really started getting into baseball, to be honest, uh, at the beginning I wasn't, um, let's just say, as talented as I mm -hmm. would consider myself now sure. because of my hard work. So that honestly, that was that's what defined me. That's what either made me or was going to break me, as my brother had put it to me when I was 14 years old. And I know a lot of people start younger, um, but I, I knew that I was way behind. I knew I, I had a lot to cover because of the years that I did not play. Sure. Um, so when I started applying myself and, and trying to take myself to the next level, I felt like that's when I was introduced to hard work. That's when I felt that this is a hard work represents or means and it's not necessarily has to be physical it was just as mental um, going through changes obviously you're going through changes normally as, as we do as humans of you know growing up going through transitions of middle school high school to college to pro ball yep. um, but it made me feel that I was capable of doing whatever it is that I wanted to do because I knew the work that I was going to put into it yeah. There was I wasn't necessarily focused on the result, even though I knew what I wanted. It was the process, that hard work that I knew that in no and in, in no time I was gonna reach what I wanted to because that's what I had in my mind. And like you said, it's not just physical hard work, it's it's mental hard work and fully understanding the necessity for it and understanding who you are as a person and in whatever it is you're doing, most often times it's gonna be devoting yourself to that that passion and working hard for it. All right, Angel, this is a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while. When you bought this car, were you excited about the fact that you got the car or were you excited about the fact that you put in the work necessary to get the car? I wanna hear your thoughts on that. Honestly, it was, once again, I, I applied myself and I put this, this image in my mind and I feel that it gave, me, it gave me something different. I put this car as a symbol of the chapters and levels that I have reached in my life. Mm -hmm. And since, you know, having the ability to get drafted and then uh, going to play the major leagues in Mexico, um, coming back home, I wanted something that, for myself, uh, that represents the hard work that I applied. So it was in essence of getting this car for what it is. This honestly symbolized kind of this power, this simplicity, the uniqueness that I felt my career has and myself, my own life have gone through. Mm -hmm. And when I realized that that is what I wanted because of everything that I've gone through, there was, there was once again, there was no doubt in my mind. That's where it started. It, sure. it originated in my mind of this is what I want. This is what I deserve. Not necessarily, um, because it looks nice or whatever it may be that you you know we like i saw it in a way that i'm like this is me dude that, I, I deserve that's awesome i deserve no less and i should you know we should all strive for more you know that's that's awesome you you mentioned that because for me personally when i first signed with the when i got drafted with the Phillies in 2014 i at that moment it was it was a cool moment for sure, just to get you know drafted and achieve my goal of getting drafted and start my, my professional career. But that moment was so much better because I always had a vision of that moment. Absolutely. And due to all the hard work that I put in through high school and college and getting the opportunity to just be in that position to get drafted. Yeah. And then when draft day came and my name was called, it was almost more special because I was with my college team 
in the clubhouse at TCU yeah. during our su super regional in two 2014. So That's for me, just understanding the amount of work that went in to get myself to that point, and then realizing that it came true with all of my teammates that helped me push myself to get drafted yeah. and, and work hard to put myself in that situation where a team would want to take me as, a, as an athlete. Um, man, that was, for me, way more special than just hearing my name called in the draft. Right. Like, the whole experience was priceless. something so, yeah, so priceless, so yeah. amazing, so unforgettable. I mean, kids dream of yeah. that. I dreamed of that. You dreamed of that. And, and you, have, you have experience in the Rays organization. They, they called your name. Yeah. They signed you. And they was, gave you an opportunity, and 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 you know how how was that experience when when you found out you had a job with the Tampa Bay Rays? Like uh, so, absolutely. I'm on the bus with Team USA, and I get a phone call, random number. I'm like, well, you know, I'm you never know. So I picked it up, and uh, sure enough, it was like Angel Rodriguez. You know, we are you know the Tampa Bay organization. We would like to take you. I at first I thought it was a joke. So I'm like, who's calling me? Like, come on. No, seriously. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, uh, you know, dad, you know, don't play with me. And so I continue the conversation. And next thing I know, they tell me my flight's in two days. You're ready to head out to Florida. It was just a quick turnover. That quick. So That's awesome. I, I was in complete shock where it was just like, I'll fly right now. Like, what do you mean? Like, it was, I was ready for that moment because yeah. that's what I wanted. That's awesome, dude. And I went up to the coach and I told him exactly what happened. And he explained to me that that's what we're all here for. And the next thing I know, I had Team USA buzz chanting my name. Because wow. they all know, they all have imagined that experience. And that's what yep. every athlete would love to do and go to the next level. Yep, that, I mean, it's everybody's goal. So when I got that phone call, you know, as every athlete or, you know, where that's what we want to do is get drafted, go to the next level. We don't know when that call is exactly. You don't know. We don't. We're you, just hoping you, you that. You don't know when that call is during the draft. You don't know when that call is when you're getting called up to the big leagues. You just, you just don't know. But what we do know is that when it happens, it's that feeling of, wow, like I just put in all that hard work. Yes. And that hard work has now come to fruition. Yes. In this moment, absolutely. This is that moment is the experience that you 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 wait for, and it. The greatest part is that they always happen organically. Yes. It's never rushed. It's never. Oh, it's going to happen here or there. It's yeah. it's it's just. It happens organically. It happens the right way, and it's one of the best feelings in the world when you have actually accomplished one of your goals due to your consistent hard work. I got another question for you. Shoot. I want to know what Angel Rodriguez's driving force is. I want to know what it is that makes you wake up every single day and put so much effort into what it is that you do. What's honestly been my drive, and I'm not going to deny it, it's changed a lot. Um, How so? It's been through the experiences of okay. being up and down in the system and gotcha. not knowing exactly what to expect, especially being in a foreign country. That's, to me, being being out in Mexico, it mm -hmm. changed my mind and opened up uh, my eyes to a whole new world, my, my heart to a whole new world. And now I feel that the deeper um, your, your motives are, let's say you have a symbol or it might be someone, um, if they're, you know, deeply and rooted in you and you connect and can put yourself aside mm -hmm. to do something more for that person that that's been my driving force now in essence uh, my parents and my godson honestly that's awesome I was uh, gonna ask who who is that for you that's awesome yeah it's my parents and my godson and uh, the reason why I get up and work so hard and try learning new things and reading books and just doing things differently than my family has is because I want him to see that there is limitless possibilities to what we can become, whatever craft we may be in. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just the, the desire to be the best that I can be. Right. And yes, my parents have had a huge impact on my life and they are one of my driving forces as to why I want to work hard and accomplish goals that I've set for myself. 
and uh, you know my whole family really has just been a huge support system and I I want to make them proud in in my own way you know right. they, they they're so great they always tell me that they're always proud of me no matter what and you love to hear that you love to have that support system uh, behind you at all times just pushing you forward driving you forward whatever it is that you're doing trying to accomplish um, but for me it's like yes I know you're proud of me but but I want to keep going like yeah. I want to keep working hard every single day to develop as a person as a player as an athlete and I want to see us I want to see how far I can go Absolutely. I want to see how far I can push myself how good I can be how what levels I can reach with my with my with my talent with my hard work with with the people around me and the encouragement and I'm sure you feel the same yeah so that's just I mean those things are awesome man. like family uh, your support system uh, whether it be a, a girlfriend um, you know your cousins your godson yeah. I mean just whoever it is that is such a powerful driving force because you want you want to show them you know how you love them through through what you do yeah and how you respect them and appreciate their support through what you do and for us it's it's it's, it's baseball yeah. and uh, the the ability we have to put our talent out there and see how far we can go and I think that is something that is just so so awesome to have so I'm really really glad you shared that that's that's pretty amazing